How did Cameron get involved with the Stitchers project? Uh, Cameron was always scouted by the uh, Stitches program ever since he was in high school. Uh, Maggie, who's in charge of the Stitches program, always kind of had her, uh, a watchful eye on him. And she always saw that he was top of his class uh, and, by an exceedingly large number. And um, one day, kind of just swooped him up, told him that he'd be uh, uh, a neuroscientist in charge of this program, in charge of this technology she needed him specifically to run. And I think he kind of found it uh, an opportunity that he took. And yet he's not able to disclose that with his family or his friends, so he knew it would be a life-changing experience, but one that he uh, hopefully one day will come to fruition and realize it was worth it. Well, you mentioned that. Are we going to be able to see any of his life outside of where the stitching is done? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think that's why the show is so entertaining is that, you know, when they're not doing the stitch, they're not doing the procedural aspect of the show, they're dealing with how it affects them and how the relationships affect them on their daily lives because they have a huge undertaking to take on every day uh, by, you know, being involved in this program and still kind of keeping it under wraps from their family and friends. So it, you see them deal with one another and how this is affecting their lives, and I think it's that's, to me, why I would tune back in every week to see how this is ultimately, you know, affecting them because... At the end of the day, we're kind of kids running this underground technology worth eight billion dollars. Like, why are we at the helm of this, and why are we just solving everyday homicides, and what is the higher purpose? And so you start to learn why as it unfolds. Are his parents anybody important? Because it seems that Kirsten's might be. Kirsten's definitely are more so. Uh, not to say that Cameron's aren't, but so far in this season, we we come to learn that his relationship with his parents has been a little closed off because of the Stitches program. He's given up everything to be in charge of it, and yet he's not able to disclose that information with his family when they knew he had a promising um, you know, college education and other schools that he could have pursued, and, and yet he decided to, you know, to scrap that for this. So they're still trying to balance out why he did that. Is Cameron afraid that what happened with Marta might happen with Kirsten? Absolutely. I mean, every day. It's kind of the uh, the secret behind behind his fears that he is yet to tell Kirsten uh, in, in the early episodes is because he has this giant weight on his shoulders with the responsibility now in his hands with a different stitcher and he does not want the same thing to happen to Kirsten as it did to Marta so it's it's ever it doesn't never not you know leave his mind every time they're doing the stitch he knows that her life is in his hands what kind of a friendship does he have with Linus oh it's his, he's his wingman he's his best buddy it's like he you know they they have their own language in a way. They get each other, and it's, you know, we're dealing with a lot of strong, smart, confident women mm -hmm. that will sometimes, more often than not, you know, like, <laughs> knock us down a peg. And so we at least got each other to be like, hey man, I'm with you, I'll laugh at that joke. And, you know, it, it, I couldn't do it without him. Might there sometimes be conflict between the two of them if Kirsten was to have a re romantic relationship? I don't know, I mean... They, you know, I don't know. It would be interesting for me to, to think that because they're, they're, they're almost like brothers in a way, where, but at the same time, being that close to one another, something like that could, you know, cause conflict. But uh, at the end of the day, I always foresee them kind of ending up in good graces with each other. And can you talk about how Stitchers is a different kind of show for ABC Family? It's, it's first procedural, and it's a, a sci-fi. Um, but it also is a comedy, but it also is a thriller. It's got like kind of every genre mixed into one. I know it sounds cliche to say, but it really does kind of keep you at the edge of your seat because you're laughing, and as soon as you're, you're laughing, you're like, what just happened? Something blows up. So it's, it's got that kind of summer blockbuster feel throughout the entire season, and I think that uh, people are going to really be excited to watch because I think the episodes only get better. Well, for me to run after episode two mm -hmm. has aired, is there anything you can tease about Cameron's past with Marta? Is there anything I can tease? Um, it's not pretty. It's not pretty. And it's not as romantically involved as you would think. But at the same time, you know, he, uh, he cares about her because he knows her life is in his hands. And whatever ended up happening, what does end up happening, it, you start to see how, that, uh, how that's taken a toll on him in the rest of his days with Kirsten now, you know. And why should people tune in when Stitcher's premieres later this year on ABC Family? I tune in because I think I just I don't think there's anything else like it on TV right now. I think it's got a it's got a great a great story. It's got a great cast, and it's and it's and it just reaches lots of audiences. And, you know, if you're a girl watching ABC Family, your boyfriends are gonna love to watch this with you. If you're you know if, if you got kids watching ABC Family, you're gonna want to sit down and watch it with them because it speaks to a large audience. And I really think that we do a good job at displaying all sorts of genre throughout. So stay tuned.